everybody, welcome. We are here at the beautiful, magnanimous, floral, and awesome Animal Kingdom. As you can see behind us, it's been a little bit of time since we've been at Animal Kingdom. I feel like it's been a long time. Uh, but we are here because we are going to celebrate Animal Kingdom's 25th anniversary, which comes up April 22nd. So we figured we'd come here and see if we get a sneak peek at any of the stuff that might be out yet. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if there's anything out yet, but I heard there might be some stuff, so we're gonna check it out. Who knows, this might be a bust, but I will tell you one thing that is for sure, it's hot already. Why is it always so hot at Animal Kingdom? We only just got here and I'm already burning up, so let's get going, see if we can get in some uh, air conditioning and check out, see if they have any 25th anniversary stuff. Well, we are just walking up the hill here on our way up into Animal Kingdom. And like I said in the intro, I mean, it is just hot already. It's, it's not even that hot outside today. Yeah. It's not even that bad. And we've mostly been in the shade and there's actually a decent breeze, but it is already so hot. It is so hot in Animal Kingdom. It's like as soon as we pulled in the parking lot, I just felt the stifling heat. Did you? Uh, yeah, it's really like, hot. I was outside most of the day and I feel like it's hotter now than it was earlier in the afternoon so so our first time here and i don't know how long and i'm already complaining about the heat yeah i like animal kingdom it's just cool here i like the ambiance of this place and i think this is kind of a good i like the way that they did this where you kind of like come over that hill onto this bridge and then you see this really cool panoramic picturesque view of the tree of life. Uh, I think it's really cute. It's like a it's like a good visual. I still think they should do more with the tree with like nighttime shows and stuff, but I don't really know what they can do with all the animals. Wow, we covered uh, this in one of our previous videos at Hollywood Studios, but they have all this new Moana merch. They have a nice Moana merchandise display right here, right when you walk in to the main this uh, main store on the right here. They have a lot of Moana merch. And they also just recently announced that there's going to be a live action Moana movie coming out. The Rock is reprising his role um, as Maui, as well as the main girl who plays Moana. I am not going to try and say her name. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a cool name. Looks cool. I don't know how to pronounce it, but she's reprising her role as Moana. So I'm not a huge fan of the uh, live action remakes, but I will say... I'm kind of excited about this one because I am a huge fan of Moana and I think it could be really cool if they actually bring the original cast of the Moana um, animated feature into the live action. That would be really cool. And right across from the Moana merch, they actually have um, other merchandise over here, which we've seen before, but they have this whole Little Mermaid section and they have a whole Tiana section here. This stuff's been here for a little while, but it's kind of cool that they have Tiana, then they have all this Little Mermaid merchandise here. Um, right across from Moana. So they have the Moana merchandise. So kind of a good, nice um, layout here of a bunch of different of the princesses all in one spot. What's that? That's cool. A little pearl and an oyster. Oh man, I'm walking over here by the Flame Tree Barbecue exit. Like the, the exit here in the store that goes by Flame Tree Barbecue. It smells so good. I have to say that Disney, one of the things Disney has nailed and they've really figured out is how to do barbecue food. I feel like every place that I've had barbecue food at Disney has been solid barbecue food. Maybe not the best barbecue you've ever had, but actually really good and reasonably priced, I feel like, for barbecue food. So they have definitely figured it out. And it is making me really hungry. That smell smells so good. It's probably why they keep adding more barbecue places, because the smell just gets you. It makes you hungry. You're walking by and you're like, Oh my gosh, I need to have some of that barbecue. And then you book um, a dining reservation or just run up and grab the quick bites because it smells so good. It's so hard to walk by it and not get it. Again, and I've said this before, I'm not even a huge barbecue fan, but just the smell and the fact that they do barbecue so well at Disney, it makes me stop and get it. It's so good. Okay, so the real reason I wanted to come, and actually the only reason I wanted to come, was because Dr. Da, 
these have been out for like a month or so, and that's how long it's been since we've been here. I knew these were here, um, but I was like, I need to make my way over there <laughs> and, and get them before they're gone, because I saw a picture of them today, and I was like, I hope I didn't like miss out. Um, so I found them. They were here um, at, I don't know what the store is called. It's when you walk in, it's the first one on the right. They are $58, though. I did not know that before I came to get them today. Um, yeah, I did not know. But now that I, I didn't even realize online that, first of all, they're suede. And then they have like th th these like little gemstone appliques on them. And I absolutely love them. They are a little smaller ears, I guess, kind of like a lion. Um, so they aren't as big as the normal ears, but I just think they're so cute. The reason why there's so much, and I didn't realize this either, is because they're bobble bear. See that right there? That right there means they're expensive. So I do think I am going to um, pick them up today, but they're pretty pricey. Well, we made a stop at the Flame Tree Barbecue. We did not get the barbecue though. No, unfortunately. I don't even like barbecue really, but um, it smelled really good. So I'm really hungry. It smells so <laughs> good. I want, you wanted the barbecue, didn't you? you? I wanted it. Yeah. Why didn't we get it? We said, you know what, we'll do it another time. So I went up there waiting for my food and this thing called the baked mac and cheese with pulled pork on it and it had barbecue sauce and slaw and onion rings on. I don't even forget, forget about it. I don't know why we, I don't know why we didn't get that. But anyhow, we'll, we're going to do flame tree barbecue another day. Disney has figured out barbecue. They really have. Anything barbecue that Disney does, in my opinion, is it's like the Midas touch. It's gold. Which is weird that uh, Woody's Roundup Barbecue, I don't even know if that's what it's called, that's what I call it, it doesn't have barbecue. <laughs> so. Yeah, they don't have pulled pork. No, they don't I have I mean, it's barbecue, pork. but they don't have pulled pork. I know, but for some reason when I think of barbecue, I think of pulled pork. Um, yeah. And they don't have that. And for me, I know Nick loves pulled pork, but for yeah. me, pulled pork is my least favorite barbecue. Same. I, I like, like chicken and ribs <laughs> more, but either way. But what we did get... And I'm gonna let her. Oh, I, I almost spoiled it. it I almost spoiled it. I know it's really soft. I'm gonna let you you do it because it matches your outfit. Da, da, da. Da. The flamingo. I didn't plan that. The flamingo cupcake. I didn't plan it either. Um, I I, I didn't want to touch it because I got the icing on me a minute ago and um, it's like staining. It's me. very staining. Here, take this. She's trying to hand pawn it off on me I now. I am because. Um. Yeah, but look at it. <laughs> Wait, what, what noise do these things make? I don't think that. I don't think they make that noise. I don't know what they do either. Focus on the flamingo. I mean, it's cute. You um, should have got a plate. I feel like this thing's going to be messy. It's going to be very messy. It's very moist, like mushy. Yeah. Uh, we had to wait for it a while. I'm like, is it cooked? <laughs> I think it's cooked. But uh, maybe it just makes it even more moist. So. I wasn't sure about this cupcake until I saw I read it and listen to this. So it's not chocolate. That's good. So I keep hearing things, but I think yeah, it's, it's a lizard right there. Lizards and squirrels. Every time we sit right here to do a food review, where there's always animals yeah. and creatures distracting us. It's a good spot. Plus, there's like nobody ever back here, so it's like quiet. So anyway, it's not chocolate. It's not chocolate. You should be down for this. It is a strawberry cake. Yum. Strawberry compote filling. Yum. It's probably like this much filling. It, I'm sure it's like a teardrop. Um, guava buttercream. I don't know. Pink crispy pearls, sugar flamingo, and white chocolate wings. There's a lot happening in this cupcake. And all of it sounds good to me. So I'm, I'm excited. Um, I don't know if so there was like a bug or something. Uh, I don't know how. We're just going to have to dismantle this thing. Do you want to try one of the, yeah. the wings? Yeah. It's trying. What? You can just grab it. Go ahead. Grab it. Just grab it. It's flying away. It's hard. I gotta wrestle it together. Flamingo, chill, chill. She's just trying to rip one of your wings off, and she got it. I mean, it's just white chocolate. I'm gonna go in for the. It's like very melty and good. Oh my gosh. I good. tried to pick that one up, and it just blew apart. It's very on me. melty. It's very so good melty. though. I can't no. get it off. Mm-hmm. Very melty white chocolate. Um, but I'm a fan of that. I recommend dipping you just, this. You destroyed the flamingo. That's good. It, it said it was sugar. It is. 
Mine had icing on it. Keep it in the icing, though. Mmm, it is pretty good. Just like a little sugar treat, like yeah, a little if you sugar don't bomb. Give it to me. I kind of want it, but you can have it. All right, let's deal. Let's let's dig into this this cupcake. I'm pumped because it's not chocolate, but I, I like chocolate cupcakes, but not for her. So hopefully it's good. It's gonna take a bit of surgery though to dismantle this thing and get yeah. somehow. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't go. know if Disney thinks that their little cupcake holders are supposed to be easy to get into. They're not. They're not. They're like really difficult, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you you end up get, making a mess. Maybe we just haven't figured out how to open them. No, I don't think so. I think they're just hard. Yeah, because there's like where the seam is, where you would think that you would rip it. It's just glued. Doesn't rip <laughs> at all. Yeah, it's 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 a bit of a disaster trying to open this thing up. You kind of got it though. That's as much as I'm doing. I'm afraid it's going to fall over. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Well, let's go ahead and cut into it and see what we get here. Um, I'm going to cut it, and then maybe you, you might have to, like, grab half of it when, so it doesn't fall on the table. Let's try it. Cut it in half. All right. Oh, look. Oh, there it went. I, I knew it was going to fall. Okay, so it has a little bit of the compote in there, but not a lot, as predicted. Okay, I think I got a little bit of everything in mine, and maybe a little bit of the compote. This little ball tastes like cereal. I love it. This is a 10 out of 10. This is the best cupcake I've ever had at Disney. Hands down. Not even a comparison. Wow. It's the cake, the cupcake is moist. Wow. The flavors are absolutely delicious. And this strawberry compote, you can't really see it. There's an actual strawberry in there. It's not just like a jelly or like that, like, you know, that fake flavored strawberry stuff that tastes like medicine that I cannot stand. I will not eat it. This is actually strawberry in here. There's a strawberry chunk in here. And it was cold. Yeah. The compote thing was cold, but the cupcake's not cold. Um, we had to wait on this cupcake a bit. I think they were like getting them out of the fridge or something or making them real quick. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. I can't stop eating it. Mmm. Strawberry cupcakes. I never thought I would say that. I never thought I would say about that. that. But it is good. I'm gonna say I'll do a walk-off homer on this one. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a walk-off. I'm gonna do a walk-off triple. He doesn't know nobody cares about that. My half's gone and I'm depressed. Woo! I ate my half in Yeah, stay like away from my half. Less than a minute. Oh, we murdered this thing. I murdered it. Yeah, what happened to your side? Where's it at? In you, my you, you, you really I did it murder so it. so much, I'm like eating it off the paper. <laughs> and you usually don't do the cupcakes. Not You're not down all. for the, cu the cupcakes. Uh, well, at least I still have some of mine left. This was an awesome cupcake. Unfortunately, no one's ever going to see this footage because she said it was better than my cupcake. So now I have to delete this entire episode. I understand. It's good. It is good. It is good. Now, all my kids who know that my cupcakes are the best cupcakes ever made, now they're all going to have to come here and try this before there can be a ruling on the field around whether or not this is better than my strawberry cupcakes. <laughs> I, it, it does stain your hands, though. I, my hands are pink. I guess they match my outfit. It's fine. And Flame Tree Barbecue gives you a big cup. Most places, um, there's another place here at Animal Kingdom that gives you the big cup. I forget where it is. It's like yeah. a little kiosk thing. It is. It's over there. Talking about Expedition Everest. Okay. Um, we mauled it. It's gone. 100% gone. 
That usually doesn't happen with the cupcakes. I was hoping he was going to let me have part of his, but he didn't. I was not. <laughs> he did let me have part of the flamingo. I gave you more of the flamingo, but that was that was as far as my generosity went. Yeah. The extent of my generosity had been expired. Uh, okay. That was one of the best cupcakes I've ever had. Just in my so life. Good. Not even just Disney. Same. I don't even care about cupcakes, but man, that was good. I have to come back and get this again now. Yeah. We need Weena and Nick to try it mm -hmm. next. Now we need to get it again. Well, unfortunately, so far we haven't seen any 25th anniversary for Animal Kingdom merch or food yet. I actually came here because I wanted to try the um, Animal Kingdom 25th anniversary cupcake. But I can't find it yet, so we're going to keep walking. We're going to keep looking to see if anything is out yet. But I'm starting to think that maybe we're just a bit too early. They haven't announced the exact date when it was going to drop. They just said in April. April 22nd officially, I believe, is the Animal Kingdom anniversary, and I do there will be some special things on that day. Uh, but I was hoping they'd start to already get some of the stuff out in April because it just said April. So we'll keep looking, see if we can find any of the merch. We're going to check out the other stores, and maybe if I see the cupcake, I'll grab it. But honestly, I'm not mad about the fact that they didn't have the cupcake because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten a Flamingo cupcake, and that would have been a disaster. Well, we already took a look at the Discovery Trading Company for merchandise. So we're gonna head over to the other side of the main entrance here, where the other store is. I'm gonna check out and see if they have anything over there. It's only 10 minutes for Tough to Be a Bug. No? You're not, you're not in, into it today? It's not as hot anymore now. I feel like the sun's going down more, so the heat is kind of laid off a little bit, but still a little moist. So head to the island mercantile and see if they have anything. There's one other thing I wanted to check while we were here. Okay, so we are in island mercantile, and I know you're not supposed to talk about Bruno, but that's it all. They have a Bruno fanny pack. And if you can't tell, this is dark, dark chocolate brown. It's not black. Um, it's And then it has a lime green. It is lounge fly. And it says, we don't talk about Bruno on the back. Um, it is $65. That's a lot of money for a fanny pack. But um, it's because it's lounge fly. And it's Encanto, hello, and has Bruno and his little mice friends. Um, and this is embroidered. Um, this feels like leather, but I don't think it is. I think it's faux leather. I don't think this is real leather. I could be wrong. And it glows in the dark. Now, I can't show you that it glows in the dark, and I'm, we're just going to have to take this tag's word for it, but it glows in the dark. There's not a pocket on the inside. It has this sort of, like, Encanto print on the inside, um, but it does have this pocket on the back. It's not very big, but it is big enough to hold like your little like cards or, you know, wallets or tickets or anything like that. They also have this Bruno shirt. Um, it's for men or women, I would say. Um, and it has a Bruno on it. And I can't really tell what that is. Is that like a basket? What is that? Fork and knives, Bruno faces all over. And it's kind of like a, a grayish black like it's like a really 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 light black it's not really gray um, I don't know what to color to say that it's just light black <laughs> so that's this and it is $59.99 I feel like that's a lot for this but I really like this um, there's aspects to it I don't like and there's aspects of it I love I absolutely love the color I love the, the print the Encanto house that's on it. Um, love the vibrant colors. There's nothing on the back. It's kind of like this um, light blue tie dye, like turquoise tie uh, tie dye. It's $39.99. I don't think that's that bad for this shirt. I think that's a good deal. But I'll tell you what I don't like about it, and the reason why I'm not gonna buy it. It's a weird length. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a, a, like an exact waist length shirt, maybe. Um, I don't know. I, I just think it's a weird length for how wide it is. Does that make sense? Um, oh, and it does have this on the sleeve. It says Encanto. So this is actually really adorable. Or, if, you know, you could always tie it up in the back or tuck it in. Or if you like waist length shirts, then get this. I love this shirt. 
They also have this new um, Encanto dress. Um, I know some people I see in the parks like to have like the, I call them costumey dress. Um, they're usually the dress shop dresses, but this one's not. I, that, it just says it's Disney. So, but it is still $108. I thought maybe it would be cheaper because it's not the dress shop brand. Um, but it's not. <laughs> it's still expensive. But it's really cute. It is kind of lightweight. Um, it has this little elastic detail around um, the back and to kind of like cinch you in, which is always nice. Um, but yeah, that's really cute. All right, so there you have it. Our not so 25th anniversary celebration episode for Animal Kingdom. We came here just a little bit early, but it was well worth it. I believe it starts on Earth Day, doesn't it? I know the celebration is around Earth Day. Yeah. I think the 22nd, but I read that it was in April. Now, I talked to a cast member, and they said about a week before Earth Day is when he expects the new merch and the new stuff to start hitting. So he didn't have a definitive date yet because they haven't told the cast members, but he did say about a week. So that gives us maybe one more week of waiting, and they'll have it. But I'm not too upset because that Flamingo Cupcake was a home run. Let's just call it what it was. It was, it was a grand slam. Not better than my cupcakes. But... It was awesome, so it was worth it. She got the Lion King ears too. We also didn't show she got another pair of ears, folks. I got the Jungle Book ears. Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise. She always says. I do. I don't know why I do that, but yeah, they're the Jungle Cruise ears. Yeah, and those have been out for a long time. She yeah. just hasn't pulled the trigger. She finally did it today, so whatever. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. We're going to get out of here. Um, it's almost closing time. So thanks for joining us. Until we see you next time, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye bye, everybody.